Aquarius, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for December the 28th through January the 3rd, 2021. <laughs> yes, we are crossing over years. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right, so let's get right into the love bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels and guides, positive energy for Aquarians who are in a beautiful bond. Hmm, what is going on for 2020 and 2021? Can you believe it? We're, it's almost like, you know, those states, those tri-states tri that you just stand in the middle and there's three states, right? Yeah, you're, we're right there. We're definitely right there. Angels and guides, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For Aquarius love birds, we have commitment and practice. After a while, you're, you'll dance on air. Practice makes perfect. You're almost there. So when it comes to your relationship, there is something something that you want to commit to within that relationship and i feel like this takes a little bit of work so if you're committing to sending flowers once a week or if you're committing to back rubs once a week yes it is time to do that okay so let's move on to the yes 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 angels and guides we're moving on to the singles aquarians what's going on with the singles. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, please. Ah, wait, here we go, here we go. We have, we have silver waterfalls and fairy wings in the forest. Some small lights glow. Those are fairies flying low. So when it comes to love this week, you are totally in your feelings about it. And I feel like there is a bit of fantasy around love. So check that. Sometimes we love love not necessarily the person. All right, now let's get right into your yes general message for this period in our world. All right, angels and guys, angels and guys, positive energy for Aquarius. Angels, we're looking for some positive energy, please, for Aquarius. Angels, what's going on? What is going on for Aquarius? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now, there we go, there we go. So let's go ahead and take a peek, shall we, into, there we go, into the, um, <laughs> the Lotus deck. Angels and guides, positive energy for Aquarius, for this. And of course, of course, we want this all upright to get out all the positive energy. That's what we can. Okay, Aquarius. Positive energy, please. Angels, we're looking for some joy for Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels, for all of your messages that you have delivered for the year and right here and now. Angels and guides, positive energy. Yes, yes, and 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 yes <laughs> now let's go ahead and add a bit of the dragon's deck and you're like dora come on now how many decks how many decks we're almost there we're almost there just take the little button and just do like that <laughs> there we go angels positive energy yes 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 for aquarius we are ready to top off the message with the hummingbird deck. Yes, we are. Thank you, thank you, and a thank you. Angels, what is going on for lovely, lovely Aquarius? I want to say unpredictable. <laughs> unpredictable Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, and a thank you. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's get right into your message. Hmm. We're going to tidy up a bit, Aquarius, and we're going to get right into your message. So, major theme for this period is the Two of Pentacles with the acorns. Yes, yes, yes. With the Four of Hearts, the King of Diamonds, the Shine card, the Eight of Hearts, and the Jack of Hearts. So, I feel like there is something you are trying to make up your mind about something of value. It has something to do with being responsible with family, with the home. Yes, king of diamonds. It's it's almost like 
you got to take care of your tribe. That's what I'm picking up. You have to take care of your tribe. And that is going to bring your blessings in your world. You know you have the power to do this. And it feels like a sacrifice, okay? So take care of the tribe. Now, when we look at the recent past. We had the Ten of Swords with the Two of Shells and the Four of Clubs, the Queen of Diamonds, the Goals card, the Two of Clubs, and the Ace of Diamonds. So I feel like in the recent past, we did not feel supported. We felt let down. We felt betrayed. With And it looked like it had something to do with a union, a partnership. It, it could have been a romantic partnership. It could have been... Um, family members, friends, but whatever it was, we did not feel supported. Almost a sense of betrayal. With the four clubs, we decided, yeah, that's what that was. We really didn't like it, but we still came out the better for it. With the goals card, it put us in a new direction. With the two of clubs, I see now that we are going in a different direction and we are actually sharing that. Now, that was in the recent past, okay? Now, when we look in the middle of the week, we have the 10 of pentacles and and the Empress card with the Jack of Hearts, the Two of Hearts, and the Mystery, the Queen of Hearts, and the Nine of Spades. So I feel in the middle of the week, there is abundance around you, a ton of abundance. I feel like you might want to buy something nice for yourself. And that's a sacrifice to buy something nice for yourself because you typically do that for other people. You give to other people that could be romantic children, things of that nature. That is the mystery of this whole thing. Are you going to love on self and let that other go? That is, it's like this week, I feel like someone might point out that you're being a little bit selfish. You're you're being, and you're like, no, I gotta I gotta take care of me too because if I don't feel good, if I don't look good, then how can I make you feel good? And how can I make you look good? So it's a bit of self-care going on here. Now when we look at the end of the week, we have the king of pentacles with the ten of shells and the seven of diamonds, the ace of hearts with the consistent card, the ten of hearts and the ace of spades. So I feel like that by the end of the week, that is paid off, okay? You are definitely sitting in your throne. You are definitely in charge of your finances. You are definitely in charge of your life. That, that is your blessing. I think paying more attention to you and the things that you need in this world is actually bringing more abundance and control into your world. It's also bringing financial abundance. This is all about you. I feel like, I feel the selfish vibe, selfish vibe, but I don't, I don't, label it as selfish. I label it as self-care with, and this is, you know, you're going to be consistent with this and, and all of this self-care with the 10 of hearts that you are doing, it's attracting, um, people around you. They're going to appreciate that you did this. This is a new beginning for you because the more you pour into yourself, the more you can pour into others, whether that's family, whether that's friends, whether whomever that is, it's almost like you got to take care of you. Now, that's very important this week. Now, when we look at your bonus, we have the Magician card, yes, 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 the Fool card reversed with the Emperor, mm -hmm, the Nine of Hearts, the Nine of Spades, the Diversity, the Seven of Clubs, and the Queen of Clubs. So I feel like Aquarius, you definitely are making your own strides this week. You are definitely putting out into the universe what it is that you truly want right here. You're not going to go off on some journey. You're not going to go looking for it. You want what is is right here, right? With the, the Empress card, because you really don't want to work that hard, okay? The Nine of Hearts, you're willing to let go of everything, everything, okay? Um, and you're willing to do something totally different. With the Seven of Clubs, it's like, you don't even care. You don't even care because the queen of clubs is telling me I want what I want and I'm not going to go searching anymore. I'm not going to whatever it is that you desire. And it, it's almost like you don't want to go hunting for anything. No, you don't. You don't want to go far and here and there. You want what you want right here and now. Maybe that has to do with you. Maybe you want what you want for yourself, right? Because it's here. 
you're here, whoever's here in your world, I feel like that is what's bringing you those that are near to you dear to you those are good that's you're you're it's almost like you're happy with that you don't want to go searching for no you're i feel a sense of tired a, a sense of i just want to I, I hear fix or or work with whatever i have right here and now because there's a bit of i feel like um I feel like you've given too much. I feel like you've given way too much. And now it's just time to work on you, work on, to the, work on the people that are closest to you, that you don't have to go far and near to this week, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.